Welcome, and before you start doing anything, do not adjust your screens, because today what I am doing is very, very serious, and I do not want anything in the background to distract you. You can have this in the background whilst doing something else, or you can have uh, you can have it on and close your eyes and listen to the serious discussion. If you don't want a serious discussion, then please turn off now. I am warning you, this is a very sensitive topic and I am interviewing people who are willing to talk to me on Skype about this sensitive topic. The sensitive topic today is suicide. As you may know or may not know, this week is Suicide Awareness Week and basically it's to alert people who may have people around them who are going through this phase, who are feeling in a rut or trapped or they can't solve this problem by themselves and they are slowly walking onto this path that quite literally leads to nowhere. So if you do not want to listen to this discussion then please turn off now. If you want to listen to this then please do not uh, I normally don't say this, but please do not leave harsh comments as people out there may watch this and they may think to themselves, this is me and I want to talk to someone, then I am saying right now I will be here to listen to you as a stranger and not to judge you because everyone needs someone to talk to. But, uh, but with negative feedback then people are not willing to come forward so without further ado I will set the questions right now that the people will be answering the first question is where do you stand on suicide such as viewpoints opinions and such of the like the second question the second question is what would you say to the person who is in the situation and uh, how would you go about saying it to them and uh, this may include tactics this may include things you'll say to them and uh, uh, the third question is after maybe this person has found out that they want to commit suicide what would you say to the people around them how would you treat the people around them, such as family, co-workers, friends, who come into contact with this person nearly every day, on a weekly basis, or talk to them on a regular enough basis to know them, or should know them. So, without further ado, let the interviews begin, and at the end, you will hear my opinion. I warn you now, my opinion may be drastically different to those within this interview and there are specific reasons why I say this because I offend people with my opinions and there are certain ways I think so if you do not want to hear the harshest opinion or the harshest thing things being said in this set of interviews then do not listen to mine and or switch off completely so let the interviews begin where do you stand on the topic of suicide suicide is just like i don't i don't really know it's it's messy and painful and just not not the best thing yeah. Okay. Okay. What well, What would you say to someone if you found out, say, one of the people around you was going to attempt suicide? What would you say to them? Um. I wouldn't really know. I mean, it's a diff it's a delicate si um subject, and you don't really know what's going through their mind. But I would try to talk them out of it, and you know, just let them know that. I'm there for them and that maybe it would be better 
if instead of always thinking about death and wanting to end their lives, maybe they should try and look at it like they wanted to start living and being themselves. That's it. What would you say, is that your whole answer? Yeah. What would you say to the people around this person? Um, well, I wouldn't say anything like, why didn't you, why, why couldn't you tell that they were feeling this way? Because it's really, it's really easy to hide those kind of thoughts. So it's more like, you know, if they had found out that they're suicidal and they might be attempting it or they have and they didn't succeed, just instead of them blaming themselves and maybe denying how that person was feeling they should just show them that you know they do care for this person and help them feel better and wanting to live instead of not wanting to okay thank you is there anything else you'd like to add on the topic um sure um suicide it's it's not something you want to do it might seem at the time that it's the right answer or the only answer and there's nothing else you can do but if you try and start looking at it like you want to live and you just you want to start living because it's it it can help it can help maybe make things seem better and it might help you look at the world better and you just don't want to die you just want to live okay thank you for that mm -hmm. where do you stand on the topic of suicide basically i stand i do not approve of it i don't think it's basically a pointless act it should not be carried out uh, for example if I was at an area where somebody was about to commit suicide. I would tell them to think, that, for example, hypothetically, what if there is no afterlife? Thinking that they have going to ruin the only life they have. They're not coming back. They're not going to be conscious whatsoever. This is the only time they have. No matter how bad it is or how terrible it is, do not waste it. Enjoy, well, not enjoy, but enjoy every single minute you have conscious okay thank you um, if you, one of the people around you say a friend a family or someone just close is attempting suicide what would you say to them yeah just answer that Sorry. basically the same <laughs> yeah basically exactly the same thing just don't do it think really hard about what you have now and the theoretical chances of not having it ever again and not existing. Okay. What would you say to the people around this person? Not You're no longer talking to this person. You're talking to people around them, say, like family or friends or co-workers. That are near him who's about to commit suicide? Yes. Basically, go away. Do not influence his choice in any way you might cause him to commit suicide. Be careful of your choice of words. Okay. And be cautious. Thank you for your answers. Is there anything else you'd like to add on the topic? Uh, if you're thinking about committing suicide, just don't do it. Okay, thank you. The next, in the next individual that I interviewed did not, was not comfortable with speaking uh, to me. But they did agree to give me their answers, at least in text. And that's what you'll see on screen. So the first question I asked them is, where did you stand on the subject of suicide? And this is what they said. I think suicide is wrong. And I understand people do it for different reasons. Some may do it because they're bullied and feel worthless. Others may do it because it seems that that tragedy is everywhere around them and others may do it because they feel that their life that their life is going nowhere and, and that suicide is their only answer in other words i am strongly against suicide 
That is the answer they gave us for question one. For question two, on when I asked them, what would you say to the person who was going to commit suicide? They answered, some things I would say to the suicidee is that suicide is not the answer. You can get help and it's possible for you to make your life so much better. I guess my message is don't give up. When I also at the end when I asked my last question, uh, they uh, they answered when they answered when I asked them what would you say to the people around the suicidee. They answered, I would tell the family and friends that the suicidee needs help and that this is this is not something that can just be pushed aside or forgotten. They must do everything in their power to prevent this. Otherwise, there could be a tragedy they regret. And that is all said to uh, me by this person. And they were this person was uncomfortable speaking. So they gave me their text answer. And the last question when I said... Is there anything else to add? Maybe s something personal or specific? Um, and they answered, Well, personal experience is one of my best friends committed and I wish I approached her sooner, but I thought she was okay. If you see any sort of indication someone is showing signs of suicide, approach them get and uh, get help and uh, get them help ASAP. Where do you stand on the topic of suicide? Um, well, I mean, I understand why people commit suicide, but it's like I don't like that people could possibly think that for, for whatever reason, however people are treating them or the conditions of their life, that suicide would be the answer. I, like, I hate that people could think that. Like... There was a girl at uh, my school who, uh, she has, I guess, problems at home or something, but she cuts herself, carves stuff into her legs, and she went missing for a couple days during school, like straight up out of school, went missing. And so we were all worried for, for until we found out where she was. But, like, I, that really scared us, and... So I, I understand how people who know someone who goes through it would feel too. Okay, thank you. The next question is, if someone around you was to commit suicide, what would you say to them? That, well, well that I'm sorry that they thought that that was the answer to their problems and that I'm going to miss them because... Well, everyone that's around me is a big part of my life, and I love them all. And I don't think that they should have done that. That there's always a way to fix things. Thank you. The last question is, what would you say to the people around this person? Say, family members, co-workers, or people who are in their everyday lives? Um... I'd probably want to see what they know about why it happened, why they, the friend of ours, or their friend of theirs committed suicide, and like it, with with the example of uh, like people whose family treat them terribly, and they commit suicide because of that. I'd tell them how disappointed I was and what they caused and how angry it made me. And that they get to live with this for the rest of their life, that they caused this. And that, that from now on they should think about how they treat others. Okay, thank you. One last question. Is there anything else you'd like to share with the people listening? Maybe a personal experience or some advice for people who may be thinking of committed suicide or for people who suspect one of their friends is attempting to? If you ever have a friend who you think anything, just even the smallest thing, is wrong, go up to them, give them a hug, and ask them what it's about. What's wrong? Like, just help them fix their problems. You never want to get a call from a friend's family saying that they committed suicide or did anything. Like, if you can do anything to make them feel better, 
and you're there and you truly are a friend, it's your job. Thank you. Now that you've heard everyone else's opinion, the following opinion is mine. And I know my opinion is the harshest of all because I have thought this through and I say the things I do for certain reasons, for certain viewpoints, but I can understand where people are coming from. The first question, as always, is where do I stand on the topic of suicide? Frankly, I think it's wrong, but I can understand where people are coming from, such as you may have had a tragedy in your family, or you may have had been a victim to certain horrendous acts such as bullying or prejudice or just it's all forms of discrimination and mostly it's discri discrimination that drives people to do things that aren't in their nature such as you may have seen on the newspaper about certain killings or certain uh, certain acts of well let's not na name a few but Sometimes it drives a person to become inwardly uh, inwardly destructive. So the person may turn to cutting themselves. The person may turn to completely putting themselves down. Such as a perfectly normal human being could start to develop mental problems. Could start to uh, de sometimes develop e uh, bad bad eating habits or eating disorders. I have never personally encountered anyone that has, but logic that dictates it can happen. And so I can understand that. But if you suffer from this, please talk to someone. It doesn't have to be a family member if you don't want them to worry about you. It can be a neutral party. There are certain hotlines. There are people out there who are willing to listen to you. I am one of these people. If you are stuck in the position of turning down to this path of destruction, please contact someone, talk to someone, even if they don't want to listen, just tell someone so they can help you or tell someone neutral so they can offer advice and help you down or help you recover or help you recover from this rut you are in. So I can understand why people turn to suicide. I think it's wrong, but there are certain acts that push you down this route. I personally, as you may or may not know, I, I am Klaus Endomir, and I am, as you can tell from the accent, British. But, even things you may not know, I have mentioned in a couple of videos, just idle chatter, that I am actually Chinese. and. Chinese people, although the world is changing for the better and there's less prejudice, Chinese people in people's eyes will always be the per uh, the country that offers cheap s offers cheap slave labor, or has very very crappy items of uh products products sorry and such as such as the like, and. Sometimes it's not the best that you basically people see you because there's always this prejudice in their eyes or they may shout a shout a name that may not need, mean anything to them. I have often enough been nicknamed Ching or Chong or basically people who don't understand or say you speak a funny language or you have a certain accent and they discriminate. I have been down that route. So, I know where you stand if you have been bullied or prejudi prejudiced. I'm not sure if that's a word, but I'm using it. The second question is, what would I say to a person who I know is going to attempt suicide or has already attempted suicide? And basically, what I would do is, I won't talk you out of it. Because if you want to seek help, then you have already seeked help. I people out there offer help, such as adverts for hotlines or people who are willing to just listen to you. There are people who turn to religion and faith, and it's very, very 
it's a very, very good way of recovering because it gives you something to believe in. But if you have already wanted to change and recover, you will have done that. So I will be there to listen. But if you if you think that there is n- there is no other path for you, I won't stop you because you will ha- you will know you better than I do. So therefore, I I have no. I have no right to stop you. If you want to continue down that path, all I will say is you will be missed and people around you will be sad that you are gone. Will also be sad that they never picked up on these signs and they will blame themselves for not helping or stopping you. So if you want to continue down that path and kill yourself or attempt to, first think about the people around you. Think about your parents. They may be part of the problem. Or think about your friends who will miss you and will have always stood by you. And think of all the things you have never done. Have you ever gone skydiving? Have you ever gone... Have you ever stood at the top of Kilimanjaro and looked onto a sunset? Have you ever looked into the eyes of someone you truly love? And tell them that you felt that way. If you have never done these things. Or would like to do these things. Now is not the time. Why are you just considering death. When you should be out there. Enjoying your life to the fullest. Trying your hardest. Stretching your power. Stretching your ability to the maximum. To enjoy the little things in life. Maybe I'm saying things that are completely useless to you. Maybe you've done these things and you just want to carry on. Then fine. But all I ask of you is, firstly, think of the people. Secondly, think of all the things you could do instead of doing this. And lastly, if, if there is no other alternative and you decide to commit suicide, do not, I repeat, do not make a public spectacle. Because, I'll give you a quick example. Recently, I saw on a Chinese Chinese news that a female was going to jump out of a 25th story window. This was a couple of years ago. Jump, uh, was going to jump out of a 25th story window. Why? Because the manager she worked for wouldn't return her ID and wages. The ID is very, very important to a Chinese person. It's essentially your passport or your national insurance number or your social security code. You can no longer go to work again if you don't have this. So I can understand why she would be driven onto a road uh, to destruction. But can you guess what the amount that she was willing to die for? It was 300 yen. 300 yen, let me put that into perspective. 300 yen is about maybe 40 pounds sterling pounds 40 pounds and for my US friends that's about 60 dollars she was willing to kill herself for 60 dollars if you don't think you're worth more than that then you really have perspective issues but she was jumping at, let, let me push all that aside She was going to jump out of a 25th story window. The police closed off six streets surrounding that building. People couldn't get to work with public transport. There was a massive crowd uh, around that building so elderly people couldn't access access or leave that building. And there were uh, ambulances, there were policemen and there were fire crews there. Why are you wasting everyone's time if you think you're not worth enough? That's all I'm going to say to you. Do not waste people's time if you are already going to kill yourself. If you want to do it, then please do it. Quietly. Do not waste other people's time. The police are trained. The fire crew are trained. Also, the paramedics are trained. If you become... A slurry on the pavement. None of these three three teams can help you, but they have to waste their time in persuading you to come down and live your worthless life. So that's all I have to say to that. 
And for the people around around them, if you've missed it and you feel terrible after, maybe learn from that experience. Look for the earlier signs. Maybe look at some of these tips that these hotlines actually give you. Maybe research this so it can never happen again. So you don't feel guilty the next time it may arise. It may never arise again. It may arise again. You can never tell. But it doesn't hurt to know. So maybe look into it. Maybe not look into it and feel guilty. But if this person is already going to kill themselves, then have a mental preparation for that. And tell them that you're going to be missed. And, t and tell them all the things you've shared. Would you like to make new memories? Or would you like to just end it all? And be forever lost. All the things you could have done. All the places you could have uh, travelled to. All the foods you may have tasted. So, I mean, I know my opinion is kind of grim. And... It did start out with good intention, but if you are so far gone that you are, you know, you, there is no other path to go down and you feel that there's no one out there to uh, to be there to support you, then go gracefully. Do not make a spectacle. You're not That 15 minutes of fame will get you nowhere once you come back down. Just, there are many, many ways out there. I do not condone doing this. But I'm sure the internet will provide you some way. Even if it's just suck it up. So thank you for listening. And I don't have a personal experience. But I have shared a story which I have seen on the news. And I've shared my opinion. If you hate my opinion then leave all the hate, hate you want. But leave, me a, leave it as a personal message. Do not discourage the people who are watching this video or listening to this audio to stop coming forward. If you come forward to me, I will do my best to help you. And I will always be there. I will be there every step of the way until you recover and even beyond. So if you, if you have hate mail to send to me, then send it to me privately. Do not discourage the people who are wanting to come forward or are reconsidering their actions. So thank you for listening today. And I hope you have a rest, a good rest of the day. Please. If you see or sense something wrong. Tell someone. Confront them. And tell them tell them they'll be missed. Just even if, if, you, if you don't feel something's wrong. Go to a friend. Tell them they'll be missed. Give them a hug. Anything that can make someone feel treasured. So thank you again, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.